I write to you to tell you the story of one very little girl. When does the fire turn to ash and rock turn to sandy sea? Long, long ago, in a land by the sea, in an island by the sea, there lived a beautiful princess. She was a girl of the clouds. She was pixie dust. She was mental rust. She was from a magic bean. She was sixteen. I never know how to introduce her to you. How to describe her to you. She could never be caged by words. For she was a performer. She wasn't born one. She was made one. By a drunk dad. And a mother who just didn't give a shit. Like a fairy tale. All the world's that stage. <laughs> and we are following the script. And sometimes improvising, being delighted that we improvised. A beautiful performance. Sex, religion, relationships, and all these emotions we feel. She knew that. And so she wrote. And found little adventures in the dry city she lived in. But when the show was over and the thoughts in her head ran out, sitting all alone, she knew she was waiting for something. No idea what, but waiting. Because offstage brought realness back in her head. So she would perform all the time in the metro station where the strangers never listened and the trains came and went, never stopping to watch. Passion is a fleeting ghoul. He'll hunt you down at night. He'll tell you things that make you howl. And then he'll take a bite. Well, 
fighting with her father. Eat the damn food! Eat it! I will. Said you'd come back by 7.30 yesterday. 11.30 at night. What were you doing till 11.30? I was at rehearsal. You were at rehearsal. Rehearsal was important. I don't know what's happened to you yet. I don't know what's happening to you. I had rehearsal, Dad. Do what the f That feeling, you know, when you're right there, it left her shaking. So present in the moment. And everything else slowly fades away. Everything. Her dad got her onto the stage. Taught her everything she knew about it. When he was sober. For he used to drink, most of all the time. Mm. Yep. Okay, want to start? All right. Breathe, breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And out. Easy up. Yes, yes. Ease up. Yes, good. Nina, I've... I've cursed you, I've hated you, I've... I've torn up your letters and your photographs. But not a moment where I didn't know that I was bound to you, heart and soul for all, all right, eternity. All right. for, for God's sake, don't start cold. I mean, can we? Can we just? You're not here. Where are you? Did the discussion that we just had did that confuse you? No. No. Okay, so it's Nina, right? I mean, you're talking to Nina, someone you love, someone you love desperately. Yes? Right. Okay. Let's right. take it again. <sighs> Nina, I've cursed you, I've hated you, I've... I've torn up your letters and your photographs. But not a moment where I didn't know that I was bound to you. No, darling. Heart and I, soul. At the moment, it's a complaint. It sounds like a complaint. No? But it's not meant to be, right? No. Is it a complaint? I mean, is he It's not a complaint, no. So what's he, what's he trying to tell her? He's trying to tell her how much he loves her. Yeah. 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 How much, how much he, he wants to be with her. Does. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that he's done these hateful things. Yes. He's hurt himself in the process as yeah. well. Yes? Let's let's hear that. Mm. Let's hear that in your voice. <sighs> okay. Nina, I've I've cursed you, I've hated you, I've I've torn up your letters why, and your why, photographs. Why? Why have you cursed her? Because she left me for somebody else. And you've torn up the letters that... Mm-hmm. And the photographs? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah? Can you get it in your eyes? Can you, can you visualize it? Mm-hmm. Very painful. Okay. Let's take it again. Living alone with a drunk dad got tough. She did have a boyfriend. That, I think, didn't really work out. She was in love. Ah. Love is beautiful. Too beautiful. Too beautiful for one who seeks beauty. She had to do it. For there would be no creation if he stayed. Why would there need to be? It was almost a work of art itself. She called it accidental brilliance. Like when they came backstage to tell her. Hi. Hi. My name is Rishabh. Nice to meet you. That was a really amazing performance. Thank you very much. I loved it. Thank you. Is Navneet around? Oh, uh, you can check, sure. Thank you. Hmm. Where 
where was I? Yes, a father. Just, just, just stop it! Get inside stop him. it! Get inside! Stop it! You, don't you dare! Don't, don't you dare! Don't you dare talk fucking nonsense to me! You, you. <sighs> she did try and run away, but he found her can... and brought her back. Nina. Nina. I've cursed you. I've hated you. I've torn up your letters and your photographs. But not a moment when I didn't know that I was bound to you. Heart and soul for all eternity. It's not within my power to cease loving you. I've found my life unlivable. There's, there's nothing but pain. It's as if my youth had suddenly been stripped from me. I, I feel I've been living in this world for 90 years. I say your name. I kiss the ground you've walked upon. Wherever I look, I see your face. I see the tender smile that showed on me in the summer of my life. I'm all alone. I've no one's affection to warm me on. As cold as the grave and whatever I write, it's dry and stale and joyless. Stay here, Nina. I beg you. Or else let me come with you. Was that good enough? Was that good enough? Was that good enough? Tell me now! Yes. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. All she really wanted was to be heard. Heard in this world of media infatuated people. She tried YouTube. But it just wasn't. Uh, it just wasn't. Uh, dark was never dark. <sighs> Pretty black, I'd say. I don't know what the word for it is. Paints the way blacker than before. She tried magic. This world doesn't care for a performer, for a seeker of dreams, for an expedition of the wild. They have their social media and phones and they watch people gaming and call it entertainment. People don't see art when it's staring at them in the fucking face. No more adventures. And so she decided to make her the canvas. Sat and wrote for hours. But it didn't feel right. She walked by the waves, but the words didn't seem to come. And she sneaked out and waited alone at two in the morning. It finally came to her. It was what she had been waiting for, waiting so long. Fuck the audience. It was her.
down there lives a little bird. Her wings are white and blue. She sings me songs of things she's heard and sometimes she'll sing to you. She chirps deep down underneath her ground where I hid her far away. Last night I heard the sound of my bird calling the disappearing duck in the thing. I stopped a while holding back a smile as I hoped to be afraid. But in the trees I saw a pale blue door that my little bird had made. I walked right in, feeling my sin that I was about to know, cut out my heart with nothing to burn. And then she said hello. I spoke for long and she sang me a song of love. First time I heard the sound of my bird, and it brought me all my fear. So I buried my bird in me as I began to be. For life's a sailing song. She cried, I'm sure, as I hacked down the door. But I knew that I was wrong. Thank <laughs> you.